was a bright morning. The sun was sitting proudly in the sky. He smiled at the plants and birds and animals and people. They smiled back at him. Suddenly, it seemed as if a cloud passed over the sun. Everything grew dark. It was still all around. The rabbit peeped outside his burrow. Oh, how dark it is, he whispered. The storks and the cranes stretched their necks. Oh, how quiet it is, they cried. The sparrows on the field said, Listen, listen everyone, the crocodile has caught the sun. One little squirrel started sobbing. Please, dear sun, come out again. It is not night time yet. We are scared. All the birds and little creatures wept because it was dark and they could not find their way home. The sheep came out and bleated. Come on, someone, go bring back our son. The crocodile is so huge and his teeth are so sharp. Who can fight with him? The animals ran to the clever fox. You must save the sun from the crocodile. You must, you must, they said. But the fox was sad. He had lost his cubs. His wife was calling out to them. They did not answer. The rabbit popped up from his hole and said to the fox, Now, please stop weeping and crying and be a big, strong fox. Grab the crocodile by his collar and tear the sun from his teeth. As soon as the sun returns, your dear little cubs will come jumping out. They will, they will for sure. When he heard this, the fox roared and ran to the riverside where the crocodile lay with the sun between his jaws. The fox smiled at the crocodile. Hello, dear friend, he said. The crocodile stared at him. You are so great. You have had the mighty sun in your mouth for such a long time, said the fox. You must be tired and sleepy. As he said this, the fox yawned aloud. The crocodile was very sleepy indeed. He opened his mouth wide and yawned. Out flew the sun into the sky. Everything was bright and beautiful again. The animals cheered. Welcome! Welcome, golden sun. Once in a while, it's good to be away and rest in the crocodile's mouth, muttered the sun. So sometimes during the year, the sun goes hiding into the crocodile's mouth. And that is the eclipse for you.